Yes! Go spare knee prize, go spare knee prize. Okay, so we've got a ship on our left. So let's take it straight. A ship on our right. Turn. You're thinking, what's all this blue stuff? Oh my god! It's a spaceship. They have the shadows on. Do we have any players in Australia that that guy could go visit? So he can play, so he can actually see his ship and I fly know, it. Right. That'd, be, that'd be a cool thing. When I spoke to him on Skype, I don't think his computer was really up to it, but that's never a permanent situation, is it? Well, it's going to be awesome some to watch this game built. What's that? So it's going to be awesome watching this game, Bill. I've got a brilliant shot of this thing right now. One I see is on the very bottom hole of the, the dip facing backwards. Yeah, that's the one I'm talking about. I've got a, I've got it marked here on the Spenny Prize, so so you can see it, Tom. It's in the same basic area on the Enterprise D. Yeah, that's why. That's why I'm seeing it. Just this little did. patch of power, power capacitors. Now, does it pull it towards that point, or could they navigate it wherever they want? Wait, I don't know. <laughs> that's the that's the pull one. Oh, so it's that in one. the dish. It's behind the dish. No, at the very at the back of the secondary hull. The deflector yeah. dish. There's a green light. Back, back. Uh, oh crap! There, so it fires backwards. Son of a bitch. Well, there's a, there's two different ones. There's one that fires backwards, and then there is one that fires forward. Let me look and see here. Because that one at the back, that's a no go. For mine, anyway. That's the one I see. Damn, you're right. I put a, just a big docking area on my ship that was kind of representative of the tractor beam. So if I had a big ship I wanted to tow, it would just, I could just dock it back there. Hmm. I don't even know what it's what it's for anyway, really, in Starmade. Yeah, you're hardly ever gonna use it. Mm. Just yeah, just put a big docking area and if you need to tow someone they can dock to that. They do look the, the, the difference guys <laughs> if you look at Gaius and Enterprise, there's a bit of lighting at the very front on the dish at the bottom oh. which is actually storm, the yeah. edge of the shadow boundary because if I sit outside of the shadow boundary everything lights up really well the second one has less pickles, pixels but is stretched out more larger than the first one okay so here we are now looking at the ships without shadows enabled which means you get a sort of a more even even though there's no gradient, you get a more even lighting across the whole ship. There still is some brightness and darkness due to the way the sun is down there somewhere. Um, the sun's currently below us in this system. So, I mean, if we were in a system that was below the sun, then the top would be lit. So you still do get lighting even with shadows off. But, like I say, they haven't done any wedging yet, but you get a bit more clear a view of... The, uh, the progress, but to be honest, you know, they have the whole shape there. They just have to finish off 
the uh, deflector dish and the warp nacelles. Really? Pretty much. Yeah. Once we get the uh, the shape filled in and wedged, we're going to try and start doing some detailing work and stuff like that. Yeah, and as you can see, I mean, if we take a quick look at um, Seventh's Excelsior here, you know, there's a lot of there's a lot of room for the sort of details which you would find. I mean, I I would say, what's going on with this? Oh, he hasn't recessed the lighting. Ah, that's why it's like that. I was wondering why his lighting was all blotchy. Yeah, I don't think he did. He didn't recess it. He just put a light, just put a light there. Which is fine. Different styles, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Styles for miles! Speaking of which, I wonder what mine looks like with no freaking, uh... Hang on a sec. And off <laughs> it goes. Boom!